Okay, so I definitely don't want to be a female. Let's go ahead and go with male. Look at his hairy old chest. Uh, also, I'm going to go for the Daggerfall Covenant only because blue is my favorite color. And lions are actually one of my favorite animals. Not the favorite, it's one of my favorites. So I'm going to go for that. Let's read this real quick. It says... The racial skills of the Nord reflect their strong and hardy nature. No, that's the Nord. What, oh, you know what? There's no way I'm not going to choose the Imperial. There's no way I'm not going to choose this, man. Imperial is my favorite race. Followed probably by the Khajiit. And then the Wood Elf after that. That's probably the sequential order of my favorite. So Imperial first, Khajiit second, and then the Wood Elf third. But I almost always choose Imperial because it's just my favorite character or uh, uh, race in Elder Scrolls for some reason. I don't know. I, I just really, really thoroughly enjoy this character. So let's read the Imperial. The racial skills of the Imperials reflect their combat training and perseverance in battle, giving them bonuses to gold drop rates, shield proficiency, uh, base health and stamina, and cost reduction abilities, making them resolute fighters so it doesn't say what kind of combat though let's randomize a couple times and see what what happens here definitely don't want to be super tattooed up wow these are all ugly this was probably the closest you know what we're gonna work on him after we choose our class apparently so let's see dragon knight these skillful masters, masters at arms use the ancient Akaviri uh, martial arts tradition in battle spirit and wield fearsome magic that pounds, shatters, and physically alters the world around them. So they are pretty much good at everything, which kind of leads me to believe that this is probably one of those races that is like good at everything but not excellent at anything in particular let's read the sorcerer I do like the fact that it's a dragon though see as Imperial's logo is like that diamond shaped dragon thing so I might I might go with Dragonite just for that reason and then just build a character off of that but we'll see so sorcerer sorcerers can use conjuration and destruction spells to hurl lightning bolts and create shock fields wielding dark magic to snare and stun and summon daedric uh combat followers from oblivion to a system that's actually pretty cool that you can summon uh I'm, I'm assuming like daedra and scamps and stuff like that uh nightblade nightblades are adventurers and opposite and, and opportunists with a gift for uh getting in and out of trouble relying various uh variously on stealth blades and speed night blades uh thrive on conflict and misfortune trusting to their lack and uh cunning to survive so this is definitely a stealth character that sounds pretty cool templar these traveling knights call upon the powers of light in the burning and the burning sun to deal massive damage to their enemies while restoring health magicka and stamina to their allies so i'm assuming this is probably the go-to healer uh for elder scrolls online probably the warden wardens are defenders of the green uh wardens are the de uh, defenders of the green master storytellers uh, whose nature tales become magical reality. They wield frost spells against enemies and summon animals to aid them. So this is probably the natural version of the of the uh, of the sorcerer. So this is probably this is obviously like the necromancy type stuff and uh, daedric thing. And this is probably oh wait, and then this is probably the natural. But then I just saw this right here. This is clearly the necromancy. So this is the Daedric. This is the natural. And this is probably the uh, necromancer then. Masters of death. Necromancers can call upon corpses. It definitely is. To serve as undead thralls. And weave ghastly 
spells to both harm and heal. Warning, using certain necromancer abilities in town is a criminal act. Citizens and guards will react accordingly. Okay, I think I'm going to go with Dragon Knight. Mainly because it kind of seems like these guys are probably good at everything. And not excellent at anything. But I would probably build my character off of that and just kind of scale my character depending on how I'm feeling like I'm playing. So, I'm going to stick with him. I'm definitely going to take off these tattoos, though, for sure. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be buff. <laughs> Alright, so I'm a little dark-skinned. I think that's I think that's good. Body markings, can I... Okay, yeah, I, th I thought that was the tattoos. Upper body, torso? Oh, damn. Yeah, okay, well, he's going to be buff. I'm not... Dude, look at those triceps. Oh my god, dude, this dude is massive. Definitely. Chest size? Oh, I gotta see this. <laughs> Let's see. Flat chested, massive. Look at him. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go for that though. Uh, because I want him to be massive. I think I'm gonna go with like a shield and sword type of warrior. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, chest size, gut size, I gotta see this too. Oh, that's not that bad. And this looks just disgusting. So we'll put him... We'll put him right there. I. That looks about normal, I think. Waist size, does it... Is it... We'll go with the smaller waist. Yeah, this dude's gonna be like a bodybuilder, dude. <laughs> Alright, let me see, uh... Waist size, arm size. Yeah, we'll go with massive. Hand size. This dude's a bodybuilder, so clearly he has to have massive hands, right? Definitely. This dude's gonna be huge, man. I can't wait. Wait, how do I take off the tattoos for the face? Hip size? Uh. I guess that's fine. Posterior? Is that the ass? <laughs> Let me see. He is. Oh, he's gonna have a... This dude's gonna be the perfect specimen for anyone to wield their eyes on. Or to, to put their eyes on. Uh, leg size. This dude does not skip leg day, okay? Foot size. I guess foot size doesn't really matter. But I, I guess I'll put it big just to... Just to, like, balance out the body. Uh... Is that... Is that- Oh, face. This has to be- Uh... I guess- I guess that's fine. Hairstyle. Is there- Let me see. I gotta go through this one at a time. I do wear my hair like this sometimes, but like right now I have like a little- uh, like a man bun, I guess. So if it's the man bun is probably the way I wear my hair the most. So if there's one of those in the game, I'll go with that. That's probably the closest so far. Uh, this one's actually this one's actually pretty cool. I like this one, but it doesn't really fit the imperial look, does it? No. So, I, I don't want a ponytail, though. You know what? There's one that I used in Skyrim that I... Is it that one, actually? This is probably the closest to... Uh, to what I'm looking for. Well, I want black hair because I obviously have black hair. Age. Uh, oh, I definitely don't want to be that old. I don't look that old, do I? Let me... Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so, at least. So we'll go with, we'll go with younger. Adornment, what is that? Is that like his beard? Alright, hold on, I'm, I'm kind of confused. I gotta go slowly. I don't want a massive beard. It's hard to see because of all this. Okay, we'll come back for that actually. Uh, Can I, let me look real quick. We're still on adornment. Or head marking. Oh, that's it. Let's take that off complete. Actually, this one looks good. 
This one actually doesn't look bad. So we'll stick with that for now. Let me just go all the way around though and see if there's a beard. I think this is the one I'm going to stick with though to be honest. This one looks the most imperialistic to me personally. Whatever that means, I don't know. But we'll stick to that one. I mean, this one doesn't look too bad either. Uh... This one's closer, so I'm sticking to that one. Forehead slope? Hold up. Let me see. Well, this one just looks weird. So I want it to be as flush as possible, and that's... Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's as far as I could get it. Cheekbone size. This will probably get a better representation from the front. Yeah, this looks more heroic, more manly, if you will. Uh, so we'll just stick with that. Cheekbone height. Uh, I guess right there's fine. That nose has got to go, though, to be honest. Uh, jaw size. I'm going to keep it like this, but I want to see... I mean, none of these look bad, so I'll just, I guess I'll just stick to that. Chin size. I think somewhere right in the middle should be fine. Actually, let's stick it perfectly in the middle. That's pro- oh, I can zoom him out. Oh, 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 zoom back in. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Where are we? Chin size, uh, chin height. I don't really want to mess with this too much. Yeah, because it's perfect right right there. Next size, this dude is buff. The tens down. So I have like a I have a dark brown, but so we'll just, yeah, we'll just stick with that. Eye size. This looks fine too, but let's just see. No, yeah, that looks weird in every other way possible. So let's just stick to uh middle. Eye angle looks fine. I don't think I wanna mess with the eye angle or the eye separation hold on um okay we'll keep it right in the middle eye separation looks fine I don't want to mess with that at all actually so I squint let's start from the back and move our way forward Wow, he, <laughs> he looks like he's suspicious of the world. Like, imagine somebody walking up to you like this. Bro, I think the sun's been in your face for too long. This just looks like he's kind of pissed off. We'll stay right there. Eyebrows. Those eyebrows have got to go. Dude, he looks completely different by changing his eyebrows. This actually kind of looks like my eyebrows. I'm doing like a weird version of me if it's not already obvious. Except fantasy because I'll, let's be real, I'm not buff. So where are we? Uh, eyebrows, eyebrow height. I think this looks fine. What's an eyebrow skew? Oh. So then I guess I guess right in the middle. I want him to look normal, not like like he's the rock, you know? Eyebrow depth. I don't see a difference. So we'll just keep it. Nose shape. That has got to go there, buddy. Whoa. Yeah, let's give him a normal nose. Nose height? Oh, that's width. Oops. So I, we'll give him a little bit of a... Uh, that kind of starting to look like me in a weird way. Whoa. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it like that. I think that looks fine. Uh, mouth height. I don't really want to change that. 
Mouth curve. What's a mouth curve? Oh, happy or sad? Oh, look, he's a sad man. We'll we'll give him a blank face. Lip fullness? Some voluptuous lips or some nothing. My lips are kind of average, I think. Maybe maybe below the middle. Uh well, we'll just leave it in the middle. I think that's probably the closest I'm going to get to my actual lips cuz I don't have very big lips or tiny lips. They're kind they're normal, I think. So ear size you guys can't see, but I do have kind of big ears, so... <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll just leave it like that. Ear rotation. Oh, that's... Uh... I guess right there's perfect. Ear height. I think that's perfect there, too. Ear tip flare. Nah, I'll keep that in the middle. I don't want it to look weird or anything like that. Plus, I don't have any of that. So, let's take a look at my character. Oh. Uh. So, in, in Skyrim, I called him Lucius Invictus. So, I kind of want to call him something like that. Uh, Lucius Invictus. Senior. <laughs> Can I put a period? Oh, I can't put a period. Yeah, this is the daddy. Because this is... If you guys don't know uh, the lore of Elder Scrolls Online, it actually takes place prior to any of the other video games. I think. Definitely before Skyrim. That much is for sure. So, obviously if it's Skyrim, I'll call him Senior. Even though it's probably like the great, 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 great or something. Because I think it's like a couple hundred years different. So, I guess that's our character. Let's go ahead and create. 